And the next speaker is Lieutenant S D Karuna Sena. A little push. A little push. Lieutenant S D Karuna Sena. Imagine when you fall down. You need a great effort to come back to your feet. Clean yourself and go again, like nothing happened. But there's someone in your life who believes in you, who will give you that little push you always wanted. So, contestant chair, senior officers, and my fellow believers, when I'm down and out in my life, my father was my lifeline. He used to pick me up. The little things he did kept me going. But I, I never realized this. When I was 15, my father used to take me to cricket matches on full moon poi days. Well, this was the only holiday he had for the entire month because he was a businessman. He used to come and sit in the pavilion when all the other parents left. But as a 15 year old, this made me super embarrassing. My father used to shout my name, Shehan, Shehan, and run across the entire ground, giving me instructions, telling me what to do, clapping, cheering, and celebrating. I always go up to him at the innings break and say, Dad, I think you should go home now. I'm not a baby. I can come back home safely. I always come back with a big face palm. But when I'm not performing at my best, when the coaches and the players hang their heads, screams and throw their hands at me, I see one person isolated, his bald head shining in the steaming sun, still enthusiastic. Still running across the entire ground, giving me instructions, telling me what to do, clapping, cheering, and celebrating. But most importantly, he was still believing in me. Even in the gloomiest of days, my father gave me a good pat on the back and said, Puta, you have done well. I'm proud of you. That little push took me through. When I was doing my A-levels, we didn't have an accounting teacher for a brief period of time. But back then, I was a stubborn kid. I didn't want to learn. I kept on failing exam after exam. So clever me, I made this an excuse to stay at home, to cut school. And my father, he didn't buy this. He took me to the principal's office the first thing next morning. He demanded an accounting teacher. He made it a very big scene. The staff, the teachers, everybody gathered around to see what was happening. My father, he pointed his finger at the principal and said, my son is trying to make it to the university, so you better give him an accounting teacher. I was shocked. Let alone university, I didn't even want to go to school. But imagine. You in my situation. When we got an accounting teacher, I was forced to go to school every day. Finally, when I went back to my classroom, my friends were like, Hey, Shehan, didn't you like all the free periods we were having, man? I slowly slipped away. You know, Machan, fathers. Well, I had nothing to do with this. The little push my father gave me took me through a period that I was struggling and lacking behind. But I, I never got the opportunity to thank him for that. A father's love is unconditional. I like a mother's love. A father's love is very silent. But the love is not spoken enough. Ladies and gentlemen, when your mother introduces you to the world, your father introduces the world to you. When your mother gives you life, your father gives you living. 
When your mother teaches you how to talk, your father teaches you how to walk the talk. When your mother protects you from a fall, your father picks you up and teaches you how to get up from a fall. My father used to say, Puta, when you fall down, people will hate you, rate you, shake you and break you. But remember, how strong you stand is what makes you. Now look at me, I'm climbing up, reaching the heights that I've never imagined, thanks to my father. I can see your lovely audience. This can be anyone in your life as well. It can be your mother, your brother, your wife, or your beautiful children. I know you have dreams, dreams out of reach. You are trying, you are believing, you are almost there. You can reach it. But you, my dear believers, you just need a little push. Over to you, sir.